Uh, let's see, it's about time to do another one of these videos. We'll make it quick. This is my harvest of the day, so you won't see it. Just, there's all kinds of uh, cucumbers and Swiss chard in here. And cute, there's a whole bunch of tomatoes. One big one, lots and lots of the small ones. So, in any case, I haven't done my watering yet, but I figured I'd get this done. The cucumbers and squash plants that are here continue to do marvelously, along with the Swiss chard that's in this barrel, which I planted from seed. And the same for all these other plants here. They're all doing nicely, yielding nicely. I thought I saw an acorn squash. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, wait a minute. Well, there's something over there. I, I think I missed that and didn't pick it. Let's see. It's a trombocino. I guess I'll pick that. <laughs> well, there you go. I'll stuff that in my pockets. So, um, that's not an acorn though, and I could have sworn I saw an acorn squash. I did, not acorn, butternut. 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 I could have sworn I saw one, but I don't see anything now. Maybe. Sometimes they get hidden by leaves and you totally miss them. So, as you can see, the second crop of bush beans is flowering all the way along this wall. In previous years, if you go back, you'll see I was trying to grow bush beans. I'm sorry, pole beans. And it didn't work out well at all. And I discovered one year, but by putting them A, in the ground and not in that, those boxes they were in, and B, made them bush beans, we had success. Um, my other bush, bush beans over here did one flowering and haven't done any more. I don't know why that is. Other years I've seen them do two, even three flowering flowers worth. So these have not been tremendously big producers this year. Um, maybe it's the difference in the seeds I have. I wish I knew what I had, the ones that were over and over. They weren't yellow beans, I'll tell you that. They were greens, so maybe that's the difference. They weren't these yellow wax beans. They were a type of green bean. The wall of glory, well, I've had better coverage and I've had worse. <laughs> it's there and it does uh, flower in the morning as they advertise. I've got flowers that flower in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. I got those Japanese wonder plants, which I did show once on one of the videos. As you can see, I pulled out those uh, down at the end there. All of the, there was a bunch of uh, snow peas there. They didn't do very well at all. I pulled them out. As you can see, these things are still probably getting eaten by bugs or something. I can't find any sign of what it is. This is my mystery of the year. I just don't know. However, and even the um, these here, this is a cabbage and it's even getting eaten. So they're all getting eaten. I did get some uh, Biggest heads I ever got from a broccoli, a couple of two or three bro broccoli plants. We'll see what else comes of them. Those are Brussels sprouts and um, Brussels sprouts and cabbage. And the broccolis are here that I've harvested or may be harvesting later. We'll see, there's one down there. Could get bigger. So as we go further down the row here, these are the plantlets that I that I planted. These are the cucumber plantlets. Notice how wimpy they are. D these are the Swiss chard plantlets, same idea. So far, I have found seeds beat plantlets. I may end up not buying anything other than um, tomatoes from the shelter, uh, shelter, the nursery. Because my seeds beat everything this year. Might just be the conditions, I don't know. So these are the big tomatoes that I have a possibility of getting. I've gotten a few, but most, we'll show you in a bit here when we get there, but there's, I think these are the medium size tomatoes. Here's some more squash, this is a yellow squash. I think you can see one down there. There's more coming. Peppers did horrible, absolutely horrible. I hardly get any peppers this year. There is one here. Look at how wimpy it is. That, that thing I can wrap my entire hand around easily. 
these uh, tomatoes have done wonderfully. Still picking them, doing great. Doing great. On uh, the former videos, I showed you these tomato plants back over here. They were dying, they're dead, I pulled them. And the tomatoes on them, mostly not good. So that was the end of them. There's a couple at the end here who are get it, gonna give something, but you can see they're well on their way to being dead. And I'll be pulling them out when their time has come. So uh, further down, more squash. And that's kind of the whole thing. And these are the uh, Jerusalem artichokes, which I've never eaten any of. In all the years I've had them, I really need to do that. That basically covers everything. And uh, over here is the pepper plant that's the biggest, but it has not been making particularly wonderful peppers yet. Nonetheless, look at this one. That's not very big either. So very disappointed in the pepper plants. So like every garden, there's some you win, some you lose. <laughs> and that's kind of the story of this year, I'd say. I'm not going to go all around the yard, but this will do it for a quick six-minute one.